All right, in this video, we are going to look at uh, a little bit in series, some more. I haven't done a video on series in a while. And uh, what a KOWP user wanted to do is they wanted to show like a series, you know, like a clock, and they want the hour to be at the top. And right now it's 9.56, and then we have, you know, the seconds. And all these are series that I have going on here. I have some clips applied. And um, when 10 o'clock rolls around, what should happen is you, you're not going to see this thing rotate. It's just going to kind of like automatically click over to 10 and 10 should show up as a current. But what we have here is a little bit of clip. It's uh, clipping just this part of the seconds, which I have rotating. As you can see, it is matching with the time very nicely. And when it just hit 957 right there, um, you know, you see the 57 moving real slow because I have it uh, animation um to, to sh rotate in this particular way, but we have to adjust the rotation, we have to adjust the animation, and uh, make sure we get all these pieces lined up nicely. So we have like a little vertical time thing here. So let's go ahead and go to KOWP and have a look. Um, I'm gonna keep my eye on the time, that way when it's 10 o'clock, we can make sure that this thing does show 10 up here instead of it you know, going backwards or whatever. It does matter there. But as we get up to that, I guess what I can go ahead and show you is that um, for series and seconds, you can choose the mode for seconds. I have no rotation set to it. And under color, um, I have it flat. I have all the colors the same. That way we see nothing but white as these seconds go through there. Um, under animation, okay, I do have the style for circular. You can adjust the sizing to your liking. And for animation, we have it loop and it's rotate inverted. And I have it set to straight. Make sure you have it set to straight. And then the duration, we want to set it to 600. That corresponds to 60 seconds. So it's going to do a complete loop in 60 seconds. And to show you what that looks like without the clip applied to it, the clip that I have is just this rectangle right here. Um, if I slide this above it, that way it's not getting clipped. As you can see, the seconds, that's showing all of those seconds right there. Um, but if I slide this back beneath that clip that I have, this little rectangle, notice for here, underneath the rectangle, I have FX and I have clip all. So basically everything beneath here will be clip, which is the seconds and the minutes. And it's going to, until, something about clips, um, it will clip everything beneath it until you apply another clip. Um, that's what I have learned through messing with clips lately too, is that uh, if, you know, if we start clipping something else and we have a clip all set to this as I just showed you um, underneath here, I think I did show you that. Yeah, clip all. So um, it's going to clip everything that's beneath it in this little uh, root, but once we apply another clip, it's going to uh, cancel out that clip, but it will still continue to clip everything that's beneath it before the next one. I hope that makes sense. I don't have a clip applied to the series for hours. As you can see, you can see all of them right here. Um, we're getting ready to hit the 10, 10 o'clock mark, so I'm going to make sure this does show a 10 up here instead of it rotating to an 8. And if it does do that, I'll show you how to apply these formulas. So um, I'm just going to back out of here, discard those changes. Let's go back to the home screen. So we're getting ready to hit 10 o'clock. Let's see what we let's see what happens. Okay, so it does go to 10. Perfect. All right. Now, I showed you the seconds. Let me go ahead and show you the hours, how I have it set up. So I'm going to go to series for hours. I have it set uh, to manual. And the formula here, this is where you have to do a little bit of fine tuning. But basically, um, I'm going to do a negative. Whatever hour it is, we're going to divide it by 12 since I'm on a 12-hour thing. If you do 24, you might want to divide by 24 instead. But we want to take the negative of this. That's what's going to allow it to rotate the right way instead of the wrong way. We multiply it by 360 because it's 360 degrees in a whole circle. And this is where you have to fine tune it. So let me just mess around with this for a second. If I set this to like nothing and I check this, notice the 10 is not directly above it. So I want to subtract a little bit more. Like if I subtract, you can mess around with this. So like minus, if I do minus 10, um, it's still not perfectly straight as you can see right there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this. I should have done that sooner. But uh, just fine-tuning that, if we subtract 12, that works quite nicely. I think that's pretty doggone centered. So that's what we want for the 10. Um, do I have an animation set on hours? Nope. I got it set to just do what it's doing. 
Um, the only animation that we have actually is this little offset piece right here. So that's what's going to keep the hour always at the top and this thing will click over and uh, when it hits 11, the 11 will show. If you don't do that negative in that formula, it's going to go the wrong way. So be careful with that. Um, I showed you seconds. What about minutes? Minutes is more the same. Um, actually, you can keep the rotation set to none and that's not going to affect that at all. Uh, color, I got it set to current. That way it's just showing the current minute. Once it hits 10.02, it should become white right here in a second because it's not going to be 10.01. This one should turn white anytime now. There we go. Uh, style, circular, adjust your spacing, animation, rotate inverted, and set it to straight. And the duration, you want to set this to 36,000 because 36,000 is going to be uh, the same thing as pretty much uh, 3,600 seconds, which is how many seconds you have in an hour. But remember for duration on these things, a 10 on duration, which is it shows 10, but it's not doing it at 10, it's doing it at 36,000. But 10 corresponds to one second. So we have to do 36,000 um, for that. And that's going to rotate all of these minutes. Let me break the minutes out of that clip real quick for you. So I'm going to slide the minutes above my clip, and now we see all these minutes. So it's a big circle that's coming, you know, you can't even see all of it, nowhere near all of it. But it's going to do one whole trip in a whole hour. So that's what's got that rotating. Basically the same thing as seconds, except um, it's just rotating a lot slower. So sliding that beneath the clip, that way it does get clipped. Let me do that again. There we go. So now we hide the minutes back there. Um, but yeah, that's, and what we can do too, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to take this circle right here, or not the circle, but I'm going to take that clip. I'm going to copy it, if it's going to let me, and then I'm going to paste it. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to take this and I'm going to slide this one above it. I'm going to go and change the FX of that one and I'm going to put that to none. And what we can do here, if you wanted to do some type of uh, border around that, that way you can actually keep, you know, it makes it look like a little window inside of there. And what else would I have to do here to this? Probably go back to my hours and just maybe adjust the position a little bit. You can adjust the size as well. Um, looking at that, let me save this and go back to the home screen real quick. My stylus isn't working, so I don't know what's up with that. It's been acting a little bit weird lately, but nonetheless... Um, now you'll see that this is actually not sliding. It looks like that, if you saw it, the three was on my border. So what we have to do there is, let me see, we can fix that. See how that fives, it's not actually sliding. It's sliding in in front of this little uh, piece that we have there. I know how we can fix that. It looks like the 10 might not be perfectly centered. So we probably need to fine tune that as well. So a couple things to fix real quick. Maybe if we minus 13 instead of 12, like I said, a little bit of fine tuning. Let's save that and go back to the home screen. That looks a little bit better, but again, fine tuning there. So how can we fix this, this little border I put on it? So to fix that little issue, you may notice that the time has changed all of a sudden. I had to take a quick break, but notice that eight that's coming in. Notice how it's in front of the border, but maybe we want to put it behind the border. What we can do to adjust that, this shape that we have right here, and again, my stylus is not working, but this one right here, that's actually our border, because notice it does not have any uh, mass set to it. It has no clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that border, and we're going to slide it beneath the clip, and we're going to slide it beneath uh, the minutes and seconds in our root. Now, you may notice that that's actually, it's clipping the actual border, because now this border is sitting inside of that clip. Well, we can still come in here and we can fine tune this. I'm going to adjust its position a little bit, not that much. How about something like that? And now, since we have its position, gosh, nothing styles is not working at all. But now that we have this beneath these two things, it's actually lying in front of it. So all of this, all these minutes and seconds are going to come in behind it. And now what we might want to do is make the actual stroke a little bit bigger. Um, again, I'd have to adjust the position a little bit to achieve what I want, something like that. And now let's save this and let's go back to the home screen. 
Um, what you're going to see here, notice that 8, it grayed out, but it's going behind that border. So everything that comes in now is going to look like it's coming in behind this little frame, if you will. Uh, watch this as the uh, 30 comes in for 1030. Um, 3 should start popping up in a second. But you'll notice that it's not going to come in front of this white border that we have here. And it's all about how you, there you go, see? It's coming in from behind that border. It's all about how you have this stuff layered inside of root. Um, but again, what I did there is I put the border inside of the clip as well. So you have to adjust the position of that border. But nonetheless, that's the effect that we were trying to get there. And uh, yeah, there you have it. That is how you can uh, create a vertical clock using series and applying some animations, some rotations, and some formulas to keep the eye up here at the top. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.